of going up with a gentleman that was a radio operator during World War II. We took him up and gave him a ride. I'm here at an invitation to fly in that bird. I know that bird quite well. If you come here and you get to meet and hear the stories of the veterans who served on these aircraft or flew on these aircraft, you'll see somebody that's 92 years old and when they see these airplanes, they're like a, a seven-year-old kid. You see them, the spunk in their step, and they jump up on the wing of this airplane like they're, they're you know, 10 years old again. There will come a day when we won't be able to fly them anymore and you'll never be able to hear them roar to, to life, to see that smoke belch out of them, to have that experience. So always come out and see them when you get an opportunity. A B-17 was like home to me once we became trained in it. If we weren't flying regular missions, we were flying practice missions. I was shot down on my eighth mission. I landed in Germany and I became a prisoner of war. All of us as young people were very proud of what we were doing and what we were asked to do.